those of us that have been around for long enough can remember the early days of baseball games on consoles and just how simple and rudimentary the graphics were. But as time moved on and the graphics and sound got better, we naturally had a lot of fun getting together with our friends to play our favorite baseball games. Then, in 1989, a new baseball game came out for the Nintendo. And this baseball game would be the one that would set the benchmark for all the games that would come thereafter. Today, we look back on Baseball Stars, one of the best baseball games ever released for any console. Hey everybody, Big Friendly with Gen X Memories, back with another video for you. And uh, so far on this channel, everything's been in the, uh, in the early 80s, Atari realm mostly. Um, this time I want to move things up a bit to the late 80s and talk about a game that me and my friends had a blast playing um, back in the day. And I know I'm not alone here, I know it's a, it's a real favorite among sports gamers. Uh, it's called Baseball Stars for the original Nintendo, the NES. And uh, actually, I don't have much of a physical collection. I really don't. I'd like to have a bigger one sometime, but um, I do actually have a copy of Baseball Stars and the instruction book. And the cartridge is in good condition. Cool. But uh, just a quick overview. Um, I wanted... we. We had to rent this game. You couldn't find it. Toys R Us, all the retailers, it seemed like it was sold out everywhere. So we would just take turns renting it from the same video store. And one of us would rent it. You know, we'd keep it for a day or two and then take it back and re-rent it again, not paying late fees. And we did this for a while. And then um, I got it as a Christmas present from my brother. He gave it to me for Christmas. It's really cool. And uh, once he once once I had it, though, man, we were, we were off and running. We were playing long leagues. Um... There was, uh, let's see, there was about five of us, and we would have a league, and and we would play, you know, a lot, 60, 70 games. And uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun. We just had an absolute blast. And uh, we would uh, keep the uh, the game, couldn't be kept it at the house. You had to keep you had to keep the lock from the key, so to speak, so nobody could cheat. Because <laughs> if you had access to both, you could play your team against a computer opponent. Like you could take your team and beat the lovely ladies on the game. They had a lot of prestige. You could get a lot of money. So, you know, you had to kind of had to, you know, keep everybody honest, so to speak. But um, uh, we named all of our players. And you know how long it took. I mean, it, it, you didn't have a keyboard. So you had to go with the, then, you know, the Nintendo gamepad and do each letter. But we did it. I mean, we, and we did it. And I, I remember our last league I think we ever had. Um, one of my buddies, he was 44 and 0, and he, he he was just a lucky he was a lucky ass. I mean, he was so lucky. It seemed like every time you know how you would uh you would have to buy up your uh, your contract for your players, and you would get between one and six points, and it was kind of just luck, you know, whether you got one point, two, three, four, five, or six. Naturally, I'm I'm just hoping to get five or sixes, you know. It seemed like that son of a bitch would get six almost every single time so he was dominating i mean we he was on you know there'd been a few close games against him but he was whooping our ass but anyway he was 44 no we're playing you know we're all over at the house like on a friday or saturday night i think my parents might have been out of town or something so we you know we drinking beer and having a good time and another another buddy of mine named scoot he wasn't he was just there hanging out he didn't play uh he walked past the nintendo it was on the on the floor you know in front of the television set which was up on the shelf and uh and he, he was wearing his brand new snake skin boots. <laughs> he bumped the Nez while we were playing. And we got the blinking screen. <laughs> and we're like, oh no. And sure enough, the whole league got erased. So, you know, I don't remember. I couldn't tell you who was in second place or whatever third place. But I know that uh, my buddy David, he was 44 and 0. Uh, with that league, and I remember, that's a, we might have played some after that. I don't know. But this is, this is such a great game. I have periodically played this game over the years um you know, on on my previous laptop i had it you know and i would build up a team and you know do a league and build them up and you know get to the point where i could play the american dreams which is the best team on the game you know the uh you know the the you have like six or seven pre-programmed teams that are automatically just are on the cartridge and they're the best ones they have the, like these power hitters and everything i could blow them out of the water it's just a lot of fun it is a fun fun game and uh and if you've got some friends man this is just a really fun game and we had so much fun playing this um 
it's just a really great memories, really great memories. But uh, what I want to do is, uh, is I want to play the uh, lovely ladies against the American Dreams and see if the lovely ladies can win. Now, I'm copying this idea, and I'm going to put a link to the guy, uh, his C, his, uh, his, uh, his YouTube page is called Retro Sports Games, and he did this, and I saw his video, and I was like, man, that is a good idea. So I'm, I'm you know, I didn't come up with this. It's already up, but I want to try to do it myself because it doesn't seem like it'd be that easy to do. And I'm going to see how many, I'm going to play them, see how long it takes me to, for, the, for the lovely ladies to beat the American Dreams. And uh, the ladies are, uh, uh, they're not very good on the game. Their, their defense, especially their outfielders, is absolutely terrible. They're so slow. Um, and, of course, the American Dreams, uh, you know, they have all those power hitters and everything. Their defense is pretty average, except for their shortstop jacks. I remember, he, he's, he's good, but he can sling the ball real fast. But, um but they have all the power hitters. Uh, the lovely ladies have some good pitchers, but there's not much else there. So that's what I'm going to do on this. All right, let's get after it. Okay, I just want to show you all this real quick. Uh, just give you an idea. See, they're starting pitcher Leanne. She's good. Some of their pitchers have got decent numbers, but this team is more about popularity than talent. See, Prestige 13. And some of the defense, see defense four, hitting, see she's terrible, <laughs> hitting three, average at best. See again, prestige is the number one category. So you know, you don't really have much here. Now go over to the dreams. This is their pitchers, you saw that. <laughs> They're stacked. And then this, here's their bat. Here's their starting lineup. There's their first batter, first player, second guy in the lineup. Here's third, Joe. Hank, their big boy hitter. Like I said, their defense is, is, is average, except for their shortstop. So we'll see. Let's get O. No way I'm going to outscore these dudes. I got to hope for a good pitching performance and just hope I can keep their sticks from crushing it out of this park every time. It Shay. <laughs> that might fall in for a hit. All right. Yeah. This is a tough part. Smoke that corner. All right. Throw the air on purpose. <laughs> This game is, um, the music, like a lot of these old Nintendo games, is <laughs> it's pretty grating. This one, I've heard a lot worse than this, no doubt, but there 
go in the gap. Go, 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 girl, go. Um, come on. Yeah, all right. You know, I, I wish they just would have fixed it. If they weren't going to mute it, let you mute it, maybe make it not so loud. It's just like it's so blaring on these old games. Not just sports games, a lot of Nintendo games. It's Shay. I don't want to curse. If by some miracle I ever get the channel monetized, I don't want to risk getting penalized for saying foul language. So I'll use pig Latin. It's Shay. <laughs> yeah, old Hong ain't got much. Uh, ain't got much of a stick. Two thirteen. No home runs. Mm. Oh, Walker. I get the pitcher out of the way. Yeah, Jax is too fast. That's a shortstop for the dreams. Leanne smoking it. Let me get this big rascal out. There you go. Hoo -hoo. Sit down. Even your best pitcher, you might get five, six innings. Six innings to be pushing it against the dreams. Because they lose their speed, and you just you're you're throwing grapefruits over the plate. Then they'll just they'll crush it. Come on, come on, come on! All right, all right, all right. Still alive. They ain't even got a hit. I walked one, but they ain't got a hit yet. Oh, I gotta get by some pitcher though. See if I can bunt her on. Gina. Yeah. That could that could be could it fall? No, it won't want us out. Hey. Man, we gotta get the sticks going better. I can't hold these boys off forever. Jax, he's their best defensive player, but their worst batter. Definitely don't wanna let this clown get on base. Sit him down. Uh, let's see. As slow as these players are on defense, <laughs> you never know, especially the left fielder. She's just, oh man, it's brutal. Okay. All right. I went to sit him down. Ah, that'll work. Still a no hitter. Woo hoo. Base hit up the middle. Let's go. Let's get a run. Or four or five. We might need that much. No, go back. Shouldn't even be trying that stuff. Come 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Come on. Come on, better. Oh, that's a double ploy. Dead gummit. <sighs> All right, we're back up there, number two batter. Here come the big sticks of the American dreams. Got one, all right. Tell you what, Leanne's doing a good job. You can tell she's losing a little bit of her smoke, though. It's at the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, it's... These pitchers don't... Even if you had a maxed out, getting a complete game against good batters would be tough. All right, Hank. Oof. All right, looks like we're going to live through another one. Yeah! A no-hitter through four innings. It's great, but it could be over after two or three batters. Unless I can get some runs. Come on. Don't swing it, junk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, I wish... I could get her on so I could get. Oh, I'm going to leave her in a little longer, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this is getting risky. But she's the batter when I go back up. If I could get to the inning. No, oh, my. Well, that ain't going to work. At least there wasn't nobody on base. Shoot. Yeah, I got a yanker. My reliever just have to bat, unfortunately. Check out that throwing style. Okay. Oh, Lord Jack, got a little connection. Yes. Got him. All right. Only one hit, but you see what happened. One run. Looped it too high. Dad got it. All right, his pitcher's starting to get a little worn too. And the computer doesn't pull them as, as fast as they should, so maybe I can get lucky. There's a base hit. much for that. Alright, let's sit this guy down. He didn't take him out. That's good. Dad gummit, he got a hit though. Oh. Dang man, you let the pitcher get on. This could be double play. All right. All right. 
that pitcher got a hit. That could have been a disaster. Hopefully he'll leave him in. I think, yeah, he's gonna leave him in. Good. Maybe I can get some get some hits going. That's that's right at him. Come on now. Okay, that's in there. That that could be an extra basis. Should get a double out of this. Nice, nice hit. All right. Come on. Yeah, he's... Okay. And yes, I'm going to cheat, by the way. The old runner on the corners rule for almost every baseball game ever made for the Nez. You can typically advance the guy to second because the computer just can't think fast enough to <laughs> stop you. So, yes, I, I, call me a cheater. I don't care. That, that's in there. That's in there. It's in there. Yes. All right. Go back. Okay, but I can advance the runner again. All right, only one out. And I'm only on my second pitcher so far. So... Okay, and again, we should be able to keep them all safe and get a run in. Yes. He's going to pull in. Okay. Well, at least we got the lead. Maybe I should have taken her out, but their bench, their pinch hitters aren't really that great, and she still got pretty good smoke going. I don't know. All right, all right. Sit down, Hank. It's looking good. Already got two down. Three up, three down. All right. Hee <laughs> hee. may not score another run, so I've just got to hope I can just keep them from cranking it. Swing at that inside crap. It Shay. Bottom of the eighth. I got six outs to win the game. There's one. All right. I don't know if I could sit him down. Come on. Just missed that corner. Yeah, sit down, Jay. Oh, he's gonna pull his shortstop and put a big stick in. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I should stay in the park. Yes, all right. Okay, now his best defensive player is out of the game. And that just cost him a base hit. I guarantee you Jax would have dove and got that. Or just not even dove, just run it down. So I got a base hit because of his, his substitution. 
It's pinch hit. And I just got another one. <laughs> All right, got two on with no outs. Uh, an insurance run or two would be great. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. You should get down. Yes! Into the gap, baby! <laughs> Y'all run! We're gonna get two runs at least. Go! Woo! <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is kick butt. Unless I just totally blow this, we, we this this ought to be in the bag. Which one? All right. I don't think it matters much. And it didn't. Okay. They've only got two hits. One of them's a home run, but only two hits for the whole freaking game. All right, just got to... He's taking his pitcher out. And his last big boy up the bat. Right, one down. Okay. Get on inside. Try to get inside. Yeah. Sit down. Okay. We'll take that. All right. One out away. Ball game. <laughs> Way to go, lovely ladies. 22 minutes for the game, and they won. Amy got the win, even though Lynn did most of the work because Lynn gave up that one home run to lefty. All right. Finally. Well, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt. It took about two days. <laughs> I didn't play but like five games though, but uh, and none of them were really close. Uh, I think the closest one before I finally won was the other way. It was five to one. The Dreams beat the ladies. Most of them were, a couple of them were double digit blowouts. Uh, there was another story I thought of that was funny. Uh, my friend Morgan, uh, he was the Maulers in our league. Um, he actually blamed baseball stars uh, for almost flunking out of uh, out of college, a semester out of, of school, because <laughs> we were just so we were so addicted to it. Um, he uh, they would leave. There was three of my friends that were going to uh, AUM, which is Auburn University at Montgomery, and they would uh, they would leave trash talk notes under the windshield wiper blades of each other's cars. You know, hey, if you want to get your ass kicked after class, go over to Big Friendly's house and I'll blow your ass out of the water. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, trash talking is a great thing. It should never be outlawed, it's awesome. But uh, if y'all are still here, I mean, I had no idea this was gonna go. I, I should have figured it was gonna be a long video. Um, if you're still here, I really thank you. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, this was a, I know there's lots of other games for the, to the NES that are baseball games that are fun games. Uh, another one that I liked was um, 
was Baseball Simulator 1000. Uh, it was a cool game. If you're a stat geek, you know, and like just loves deep stats and making adjustments, it's it's a great game. The only to me, the reason I like Baseball Stars better than Baseball Simulator 2 1000, excuse me, uh, and to me those are the two best games for the Nintendo. You know, everybody's got their own opinion, but I don't like the little cartoony looking players on Baseball Simulator. The little be short, you know, it just, I just don't like the way it looks. The ultimate thing to me would be if you could take the statistical package and the setting and the, you know, all, everything that that game offers and bring it into Baseball Stars. Uh, because that game also had those power ups, you know, where you could, uh, it was like a, superhero thing where you you know your batters could be super strong or your pitchers could throw crazy pitches and that was just another nice feature of that game but but ultimately and we played both baseball stars won out with us um, it was the one we played the most um i would like to know what y'all think what other baseball games were y'all heavily into you know when you were younger um what was your favorite uh i'd also love to hear uh what y'all think about the 16-bit era of baseball games now we didn't play much then about we played uh, when madden came out for the genesis that's man that's all we were on you know the first three madden games on the genesis we you know then we moved on to bill walsh college football we, we, we love playing football more than baseball so i feel like maybe i kind of missed out on this on the 16-bit era of baseball games so what do y'all what are some great 16-bit baseball games that y'all played and uh Put some recommendations down there. I'd like to try them out and try to play some catch up on that. And, you know, it's funny. I haven't played uh, baseball like EA game. You know, the whatever it's called, the, the Major League Baseball game. I haven't played one of those in years. And sometimes they, it's like they try too hard to make it too realistic. Now, I'm, I'm not saying it shouldn't be realistic, but. You know, you just can't sit down and play the stuff. It's the same thing with Madden. You just can't sit down and just play the friggin' game. You know, it's like it's like a twenty minute setup just to 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 get there. You know, and uh, and even though the physics might be technically better, of course they are. The fun factor, I'm telling you, it just ain't there. I, I just don't think it's there. Now, I, like I just said, I haven't played in a long time, but I mean, I go on forums and I read what people are saying, and they all kind of say the same thing. You know, it's just. I don't know. I think the older games are better. I just do. And Baseball Stars is a badass baseball game. It's one of my favorite favorites. Okay, I'm going to sign off now. I could keep on talking about this for another freaking hour. It's just so much fun. Um, thank you all so much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, and many of you all have, I appreciate it. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. And I'll make another video as soon as I can. This, this stuff takes forever. I mean, the editing and everything, man, it's just, it, I'm learning though. So, okay, enough talking. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.